Oh, yeah, I look a hot fucking mess. I don't be getting on no damn bunny on. But, bitch, I've been having the fucking weirdest days of my motherfucking life. Like, shit be weird. So, let me tell y'all what happened. Because y'all gonna be wondering, why y'all not going live? Why y'all not doing videos? What she at? What she is? Da, da, da. What my sister is? What she did? So, I'm just going ahead and clear the air before y'all even get the ad skin so y'all can know. So, make this fair. Share this video. Let this shit bye bye. Cause I don't want nobody to be like, what I was she at? Cause she ain't gonna be nowhere around me. So y'all know how she done already had to bit me in the face. I still, y'all probably still probably can see you probably can see, yeah, you can still see the mark. And it took me, it took all of me to let it in. Like I'm a good ass person. You can do some foul ass shit to me and I like forgive you quick as fuck, cause I'm a Pisces, that's how we is. So it's like you can do shit like that and i forgive you because i'm just a forgiving ass person but i can't take too much though y'all i really can't take too much like i get to the point where i forgive you a lot but then again like when i stop fucking with you like it's just you done for so that's why i try to forgive you and try to let shit ride because i know when i'm really done with you and i really stop fucking with you for real it's gonna be through over with like you gonna feel me so, y'all, the other night, y'all know how it be when you get drunk and then you be wanting to fucking fight. That's how I am. Like, when I when I get drunk, I be wanting to fight everybody. But if I'm by myself, I just want to jam and listen to old school music. I don't know. I just be turned or whatever. But it's like she had to cuss my grandparents out. So, like, I got drunk and I started thinking about it. So, I, I, I reacted like that when I got. I ain't react earlier that day. I react later on that night when I started drinking, like. Oh, you you know, it pissed me off all that day. Like, you know how you have some shit on your mind all day? You feel me? Type shit. Like, it was on my mind all day. Like, she just, that's another story for another day. But she just be psyching out, y'all. And I be trying to, I be trying to deal with it because I know what we can do together as twin sisters. And I know y'all really fuck with us together, like, on another note. But I like peace. I like being around people that bring me peace. Like, you know, like, we can be together and there's no negativity, no bad vibes. Don't mind my nails, y'all, because I'm always tussling with these niggas. Anyway, back to the story, because I'm beginning to mix the fuck up. But, yeah, she always, like, I don't know. It's like, you know how a firecracker is? Like, you just pop off. Like, you can say one thing to her and she get mad. Like, I don't like shit like that. But, anyways, that was, I don't know. She just went to my grandparents' house and she went to start and shit, like, this starting shit, but that's another story for another day. I'm gonna just tell y'all what really went on. Blase, blase. Fuck out of the extra information. So, this was like, um, two nights ago. We got drunk. I started fighting her or whatever. Da da da. Just fighting her or whatever. And instead of her fighting back or leaving the house or telling me, oh, I don't wanna fight, just chill out, da da da. She decided to take my keys from off the table. And she ran out the house. And I didn't know what she was going to do with my keys. But she took them out the fucking... She took, she left with my keys. She ran and took my keys. So I'm like... That's the first thing that came to your mind. To take my keys. Like, are you plotting? Like, I don't know. But I was running. like I was running trying to catch her. Da, da, da. So I could catch her. And I didn't know what her teachers was with doing my car. So And I, I really don't even like nobody. Like, if you know me, I don't like nobody driving my car just because of what happened you know in the past i don't like nobody behind my wheels because if i fuck my car up i want it to be on me like so i feel better about it but if if somebody else fuck my shit up i'm gonna be 38 and especially when you got the money like so when i mess up my car and i do something my car i'd be like okay i did it but it's different when another motherfucker fuck up your shit so that's why i'd rather just take you where you need to go at and do what you need to do instead of Anybody driving my car. Ain't nobody certified in driving. You not nobody's a certified driver. Everybody makes mistakes. And if that mistake is made, it's gonna be within me. So yeah, I called the police. Cause she I was running, 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 trying to catch her. And mind y'all, I'm drunk already. I called the police. They were looking for her or whatever. They didn't find her. <clears throat> so I so I went back home and I was just sitting in the house, like waiting, thinking she was gonna go back. Y'all, she came back, like she caught me off guard, and my phone was sitting on the table or whatever. She ran in the house out of nowhere and she took my phone from off the table. 
So, and she started running real fast. I tried to catch her. I mean, try so first she took my phone. Then she took my fucking keys. So I'm just like running, trying to catch her, like trying to get her or whatever. And I never, I never got her that night. Like I'm drunk, you know, and when I, I get drunk, I be going to sleep. I be ready to go to sleep. So I never caught her. I, I um eventually fell, fell asleep. I should have fell asleep in my car because when I woke up, y'all, my car was not parked. I parked my, I backed my car up when I parked. My car was not backed up. It was just pulled in. So I knew she had to move my car and don't touch nobody's shit. Like, don't do that. If I ain't give you permission, don't touch my shit because shit could have went three ways. Anyways, I was mad about that anyway because I had my car in the full tank and that's what I wanted to see it when I got back in. Fuck all that other stuff. It's just the fact of I woke up and my keys were in my car. Right here, like door was unlocked, keys just sitting right flat, like keys sitting right like my windows out I, I don't you can see the keys. Like if anybody was just to walk up in my yard and look at my car, they could have saw my keys sitting right here and stole my car. So I was pissed. I woke up pissed off, which is not a good thing. Something that I really don't have to deal with. I woke up pissed off. Somebody could have easily just took my fucking keys. You feel me? My house key was on the table. She left my house key on the table. And <clears throat> I didn't I couldn't find my phone. So I'm like, where is my phone? Like, I couldn't call nobody. Like, I'm like, what like she, mind you, I told y'all she took my phone, but I, she brought my keys, but she didn't bring my phone, though. Because, you know, you're going down for a stolen car. You know what I'm saying? So, she brought the keys back, but my phone was still missing. So, I get up out my sleep, and I start going places where I felt like she would be at. But I couldn't find her. So, I'm just, like, riding around, wasting all my gas, like, just riding around trying to find her. Eventually, I found I, I went and got Jalen out, and y'all know I don't like the bitch, but I had to deal with him because I'm thinking he knew where she could be at. Da, 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 but he was just playing up under me the whole day. It's crazy. This shit is crazy. He was like playing up under me the whole time, but I should have known that. But damn, he played it so good. Like, I don't know where she at. She must be with another nigga. Da, da, da. And I'm gonna tell y'all why all this shit went down. Like, it's gonna be that's gonna be even crazy. I don't know where she at. Da, da, da. I was telling him, I don't know my phone at. She got my phone. He was like, oh, she called me off your phone. Da, 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 da. Just playing up under me like he don't know what's going on so he can get there. You feel me? So, we eventually me we, we eventually found her or whatever. And when I found her, she was at my mom's house. And I walked in. I said, where is my phone? And she was like, I don't got your phone. I don't got your, like, lying. Like, Y'all, lying, dead ass, like, in my face. Look at me in my fucking face and lying. Like, lying. Like, I ain't never saw nothing like this before in my life, y'all. Like, that's why, like, I can't trust people. I be wanting to have friends and stuff like that. But this is crazy. This whole story is crazy. Y'all, y'all got to keep listening. Lying, y'all. This girl dead ass lied, dead in my face. Y'all, I woke up, like, I think... 11 o'clock i didn't get my phone until like six o'clock that afternoon like it's so crazy because this shit had me so bl mind blown because i knew what was going on you feel me i'm gonna keep i'm gonna explain i'm gonna let y'all know what i'm talking about but i knew what was going on from the jump when she took my phone so y'all not my baby was not even on my mind like Luckily, I ever didn't go to school that day because it was like some type of shooting or some shit like that. Like everything just played out good for me because those who bless people gonna be blessed. You can't you can't do wrong and expect shit to go your way. God's gonna bless who who bless others. I'm not a badass person. I, if anything, I'm I, I, I'm willing to help her. And you feel me? She she had that grudge, the hating ass grudge coming around me plotting hating on me it's very much weird and i didn't want to feel like that about her so you know i i brushed it off but it's like when that shit come like when you when you got a feeling about something and it actually happened it'd be so crazy like so y'all i didn't get my phone like, i'm not thinking about my child i'm like damn i didn't get I, like when i finally got my phone I'm like damn i didn't get my well i didn't have my phone at the time but I was still looking for it. But I was like, damn, nobody called me to get Ivory. I didn't even get Ivory. Like, it was just so, this this whole situation was just crazy as fuck, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all why. So, <clears throat> she lying to me like, if y'all could see this shit for y'all self, y'all would think, 
I don't know if y'all ever been through this shit before, but have somebody ever just sat there in your face and lied and you know they lying and they know they lying? Like, but dead ass lying, like, lying, like, looking at you, lying, like, bitch, lying, like, y'all. And that's why I said in that other video with us doing that mukbang, remember I told y'all she took some buds from out the boy weed and she sat there in that boy face lying and he knew she was lying. But she lied, like lied. That's when I knew for a fact I couldn't trust her right then and there. And I said that in that video, y'all. Because the girl lied. She was, y'all. That shit was crazy. So, like, she lied so bad to the point I started, like, I started to think she really ain't have my phone. Because she really was not trying to get my shit up. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is very much crazy. You really, you really, I, this bitch got my phone and you know I need my phone. I'm a mother, so I need a stable home. I need transportation and I need contact information for if anybody want to call me. And matter of fact, fuck somewhere to stay. Fuck the car. You need, you need contact information when you have a fucking child because anything can happen. So, for her to be taking my phone, it's like, I need my phone. My phone on, bitch. Your phone is not. I keep my, I pay, that's my monthly fucking bill. So, it pissed me off, y'all, like, it pissed me off, y'all. Like, that's, that's my monthly, that, that's some, that's my priority, love. And you're playing with it. That's how I make my money. And you're playing, y'all. I was so mad. I was so mad. But it's so crazy because, it's so crazy because, like, I'm blessed as fuck. Like, I just knew shit was going to go my way because, I, t I kept talking, like, as the shit was going on, jailing them, they wanted me to be so mad. Because, see, he playing up under me the whole time, and I'm already knowing it. Like, I'm just using him to, you feel me, get to her. So, I'm calm as fuck. Like, I'm, I'm like, calm. Like, I'm not turning up. I'm not cussing. I'm not trying to fight her. Like, I'm dead ass following her. I haven't put my hands on her. I ain't trying to fight her, no nothing. I'm doing this shit the smart way because... If my ass was in jail, then I would have really lost it all. I can't let nobody like that take me off my pivot. I can't let nobody do that. So I did that shit the conflict way I could. Without the police being, I tried to keep the police out after they didn't find her last night. I didn't want to call the police. I did it the, conf the conflict way ever. I sat down and think, marinated, think, think, think. So <clears throat> I went to my mom's house where she was or whatever. Because she had to live my mom's house because my mama was finna call the police on her because my mama like why the fuck will you not give her her phone like what the fuck is wrong with you like bitch why you just want to get a girl her phone like that's how my mama was like and my mama like she she like me like we like peace we don't like all that bullshit like when you when you when you have so much peace to yourself for a good long time that bullshit be like it be thrown out the window you want that shit you know and that's how my mama my mama don't like all that bullshit for real so when that shit was going on, she just like, man, I'm just finna get y'all. My mom had shit going on. She had plans. So I went ahead and left the house when she said she was gonna call the police or whatever. And she didn't have nothing on her. Like, she didn't have my phone. She didn't have her phone. She didn't have nothing on her. So I'm like, my phone has to be in this house. So y'all, I'm I'm mad. I'm you know how you mad and you look for something, you ain't gonna be able to find it. So at first I was too mad to like find the phone. I was too mad. Like I just had too I was just too mad. So I wasn't able to find it. So I love, I kept trying to follow her around, like Thomasville. Kept like, like, I'm literally, my car literally like ride. She walking and I'm riding. Like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? She's steady saying, I don't got your phone. I don't got your phone. I don't got your phone. Line, 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 line. Like, this girl was not going to get my shit. You feel me? So I was like, fuck it. I, um, I came up with a plan or whatever. Oh, I can't, I can't get to that. I can't get to that. That's the end of it. I can't get to that. I got to stay with in detail. Spot my spot. Okay, so. I went back to my mama's house for the second time, and I looked again, because my mama, she, was not, she wasn't home, so I wasn't able to keep looking. She said she had somewhere to go, and she wanted her, lock, her door to be locked, so I really ain't had time to really look, for real. But I was looking at spots where I felt like she thought I wouldn't look, like the trash can outside, fucking just everywhere. Like, when you want to hide some shit, you want to hide that shit. See me? See, if I would have hit her phone, and if it, if it was me on the other hand, she wouldn't find that shit. My, that shit would have been on the outside in the trash can, up under a tree, bitch, under a, a fucking, uh, in somebody else's mailbox. She didn't, she ain't hide that shit well. But anyways, I went back to my mama's house, and I found it in a bag. And mind y'all, I looked in this bag already. I just was mad. So, I ain't see the shit. But when I looked in the bag the next time, she had it hood and hid in the hat. And I found my phone, whatever. 
But yeah, before I found my phone, before I took it serious and finding my phone, because what I was gonna do before I found my phone, I was gonna um go to Verizon and get a new phone, cause like I knew she had my phone, but she was not trying to get my phone. So I was gonna go to Verizon, cause I got insurance on my phone. I was gonna get a new phone and get the same my same number attached, because y'all, what happened was when I got back home, I'm like, damn, she really not giving my phone, so I came back home. And I logged into my computer, and I noticed she signed me out of my YouTube account. Y'all know I've been doing this YouTube shit by myself for the longest. This is how I've been paying my bills. This is how I've been making my money. And this is how I've been providing for my child without having to go home, go to go to work and fucking slave for these crackers. This is what I've been doing or whatever. Because she was not trying to help me. Like, she she, she be more like on the side. Everybody knows she be more like on the side. She want to build this nigga instead of, you know... So I decided to just do the YouTube and that's just a story for another time. It's just so much shit went on and that's why I had the account for like it's been a year now by myself. And she tried to take it from me and she noticed how I pay my she tried, I'm not even gonna say try. This girl actually signed me out of my you I couldn't get in my email for my hair companies or the hair companies email me. I couldn't get into the YouTube email. Uh all my shit was logged out of. So that's when I took it serious. Like that's when I was like, okay, if I'm finna lose my YouTube, I'm j I might as well just go ahead and go to jail. It's time. It's that time. And when somebody make you feel like that, like you have to, you know, that's when it's just it's 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 uh uh. No. So I'm like, damn, like she really did this shit. Like that's I, but I knew that y'all. I already knew that's why she wasn't trying to give me my phone. Like she trying to take all my money. Cause y'all, you don't never tell a person your moves. But since we was, we decided to do business together, I let her know the money. I let her know how much money, what it was. And when you let somebody know how much money and it's too much, they try to come take that shit. And I ain't feel like that about her. But since I knew her, my I told her my money moves. She was plotting on me the whole time, y'all. And it's crazy because I ain't know. She waited till she got mad to do some shit like this, like. <clears throat> She logged me out of the YouTube account, and I took it very, 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 very serious. Very seriously. And I took it serious because, like I told y'all, uh, I don't I don't go to work. I don't do nothing. This is how I pay my bills. This is what I do. This is how I live. So I took it very, 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 very serious. I was ready to go to jail. I was ready to keep my daughter over there somewhere else. I was ready to lose it all so i was like oh no i went back to my mom's house and i looked again and that's when i told y'all i found my phone i came back home and um i looked on my phone and i thought my youtube and stuff was not going to be signed out on my phone but it was so i did something to get back in i don't know what i did to get back in my youtube account but like I told y'all, it's been my account for the longest. So, you know, I've been signed in. I got known devices that's been signed in a YouTube account. So, I was able to get back in it or whatever. And, yeah, like, so, I don't know. I just can't, um, it's scary. You know what I'm saying? For for some shit like that. And, and it, this, this shit that happened before. Jalen did some shit like this before. Like, I logged into my YouTube account on his phone before. And... He got mad at I wanted or some shit, and he locked me out my shit. Like, and I took that. Sh That's why I don't like him. That's why I don't deal with him. He don't come around no more. Y'all don't see us together no more. I did that shit on our birthday because it was our birthday, so I was like, fuck it. But yeah, like I try to keep like a person that can make you lose it all just like that in the blink of an eye. You gotta let them type of people go, like, and. If you don't, then you just don't love yourself. But I love myself. I love her too. But people like that, you got to let them go. You got to let them learn for themselves. Because at the end of the day, I was not down to... I went I went on no money hungry shit. Fuck the money and fuck everything else. It's about me and my child. And us getting where we need to be at. And us making sure we, we got everything going on. And she didn't think like that. She thought about that shit on her... About, she thought about her, her damn self. Fuck how I feel. You got a whole fucking niece that you taking money from. At the end of the day, I wasn't trying to be on no money hungry shit. I told her I was going to give her money. 
because she actually came on it back on the channel. You know, we've been doing it. We've been doing our little thing together. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pay. And I'm not, I wasn't lying about that shit, but I don't feel a nonsense. You just finna take me out. I'm not giving you shit because you probably have to do a motherfucker how they do you. Like at the end of the day, I ain't no telling what that girl was going to do with my with my whole fucking YouTube shit. I ain't no telling what the hell she was going to do. You feel me? And I don't want to feel like she was really going to do that because that's really fucked up. And the fact that she she had my she had my phone and she wasn't trying to get my phone back, that's that's more even more fucked up too. So yeah, um, I don't know. I don't I can't be around a person like that. That girl is it, scary. She 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 mental. Her mind is not right. She's not focus on the right shit is it's something wrong with her for real and, I, and I'm, I'm i'm not trying to get on here and bash nobody but that's just some real shit if you could do shit like that it's, it's something it's something not right about you for real you if you had that shit in your heart it's not something right about you but you're jealous you envy me bitch you hate me you want to see me down like girl no hell no so no we won't be doing no live videos together we won't be on no damn youtube together and since she get her mind right her mental and all that other shit you can tell when the person right but she ain't right. Mm -mm. And that's some plotting ass shit. And I just can't deal with it. And then for our birthday, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all that too. Because y'all was asking about that too. So I'm going to let y'all know. We went to PC on our birthday or whatever. And <clears throat> before we left, my brother was cussing my sister out. <laughs> he was so upset. He was very, very mad because Jalen came on a trip and he didn't have no money. And he brought somebody else along, and they had, they didn't have money. So, um, he was mad about the shit. Like, I said personally, it should just be me and my sister going, but she didn't feel like that on our birthday. She couldn't go a couple days without this nigga on our birthday, which is sick. Like, she, I didn't got to the point where it's been so many, it's been too much, too many incidents. Like, you gonna put this nigga first? You gonna put this nigga first? You gonna put this nigga first? So that's what point what point I done got to with her. Um, yeah, he came to the vacation, broke, and he didn't he, he ruined my whole birthday party. And I'm just put it plain out like that. I don't like to talk about motherfuckers, but if you can plot on me like that, bitch, fuck you. Anyway. Yeah, like you already broke and you in here like the day of our birthday, so Y'all know what we had on our birthday. I might I might leave a picture up here, but I really don't feel like it in this video, so I'm gonna just fucking post it it's gonna not it's not gonna be edited but i don't know if y'all know what we had on for our birthday i don't know if y'all know because we didn't post no pictures it just was all y'all know y'all know if we didn't have no decent vlog or no decent picture to post y'all know everything was already fucked up y'all should have known that but we was going we was finna go out to the club or whatever and um you could tell, like, the hatred he had of punts or, like, he want her to be done bad and look bad. Because when we put on clothes, it was like, he was mad because you look bad and we look good. Like, we can't help that. Like, you knew you was broke. Why the fuck did you come? Anyways, like, he was mad, like, just mad. So he went to start and shit. Or you know how you can sit around somebody and you can tell they starting it, they doing it on purpose? type shit yeah like he did he did it on purpose like but when i get mad i be so calm because overreacting don't do shit to the, for the situation like overreacting don't do shit but make the situation worse so i be calm and then i charge it to the game like i know how to move next time when i'm calm it's, it's bad it's dangerous like if i get quiet and i just don't say nothing it's very dangerous because i'm thinking about everything i'm not i'm not showing you what i'm gonna do i'm not telling you what i'm gonna do but i'm thinking about what i'm gonna do and that's the most powerful thing ever overreacting and making yourself look stupid and da 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 i learned from that shit so long ago like I was very calm. I was very, very, very upset on my birthday. Mind you, I was real mad now. But I was calm. And I, okay, this is what's going to happen. I can't do nothing about it. You feel me? I just know how to move next year. Next year on my birthday, if I have to be alone, that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I might do anyway. I might just go ahead and start planning for my birthday. Because we wouldn't even, we didn't even have everything planned. Like, it was just some bullshit the whole time, like. Yeah, he started getting mad about what she had on. Like, she, well, she, like, she, she fought. You know how your clothes be too big for you and you fold your pants up? He got mad about that. So, my, she, she, why you folding up? Like, just, you know, trying to start some shit. So, he fought the girl the whole time, the whole night. 
they fought for a minute, so it got late. It was like two in the morning, and I was like, "Fuck it, we ain't even gonna go out." He pulled the girl whole wig off. The girl whole wig came off, so I was like, "Fuck it." And the whole time we was on vacation, they argued the whole entire time. Like we could sit for fifteen minutes, it'd be an argument. We could sit for another fifteen minutes, it'd be an argument. Even when we went, even when I was driving on the interstate, and y'all, I never drove on the interstate before, but I can drive. You know what I'm saying? I got my license. You know what I'm saying? And I can drive. You know, I know how to fucking drive. I know how to read the signs. I know what the fuck to do. So I drove on the interstate for the first time, and it was very fun. It's, it was very, very fun. Like, some of it is a very small city, so we only looking at trees and fucking road. So driving on the interstate with a lot of cars and lights, it was very fun to me. It was not scary at all. It was very fun. Anyways, besides that, they were fussing on the road, and y'all, I'm, I'm already like, what the fuck? This is my first time driving on the interstate. What the fuck? Like they, he dead ass fighting this girl on the net while she's sitting right here, dead ass fighting her. Hmm. <sighs> so yeah, y'all. It's hot. Turn on AC. Yeah, yeah, um, that's what happened on my birthday. They argued, first and foremost, the whole time. I really ain't want to tell our story time about our birthday because, like, I don't really want to put their business out, but shit, fuck it, fuck them. That's how I feel. I'm not sparing nobody no more. I'm not being calm no more. I'm not sitting the fuck down no more. I'm not being humble no more. If you fuck over me, I'm going to fuck over you 10 times harder. Just don't play with me. And I'm going to do this shit in the most comfortless way ever. I'm not going to go off. I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to let life fight you because that was dead ass wrong. And I knew I was I knew I was going to get my shit back, back together. Like, because I just said to God, like, I said, God, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Like, the whole time this shit going on, I'm just like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm like, God, ain't no way you did. Ain't no way this. I, ain't, I say, God, ain't no way this happened like this. Ain't no way this thing really happen. Then I went back the second time looking for my phone. I said, God, come on now. This, this come on now. And you know how like you'll start praying to God and that shit just pop up in your face type shit. So yeah, that's what it is. More of the story. <sighs> if you got signs coming towards you, don't don't fucking let them, don't throw them signs away, y'all. Take that shit serious, cause when, cause when that shit hit the fan, you gonna be looking crazy as hell. So it's just been too many signs for her. You know what I'm saying? She need to get her mind right. She need to, you know. And that's when I catch her on the other side. But other than that, baby girl, sweetie plum, I'm in the goddamn throw this shit on my own. Figure some out my own on my own. I want I want friends that got shit got their shit together because when people don't got their shit together, they hate on people. So I need me some friends that got their own house, their own car, and their money, and they travel, you know. That's what type of friends I need, because friends like that, it ain't shit to hate about. So, yeah, y'all, it's weird, I know, but yeah, that's what went on, and I don't care what a bitch gotta say, fuck y'all, I don't care, 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 it's no business, I don't give a fuck, because y'all gonna ask me, and then y'all gonna keep asking, keep asking, and I'm gonna just put every detail in, so y'all gonna fucking ask me. So, that's what happened, and I'm thugging it on my own, on my own, back to thugging it on my own, and as y'all know, everybody know this, when I was thugging it on my own, I was at peace, but it's like this girl done ran me fucking crazy, I don't know who the hell I am right now, I'm not the same person though, but I'm working up back on it, I'm working back on it, each day, every day, and I'm finna slow down on the drinking too, because y'all, it's always some shit happening, so, yeah, just focus on me, try to get where I need to be at in life, and all the bullshit put to the side. If somebody can hard code do you like that, baby, keep them out the midst. This, this, this is for like, this just a lesson for everybody. This story is a lesson for everybody. Like, don't fucking let nobody just see, keep, keep playing with you for real because that shit can get worse and worse and worse. When the person show you how hardcore they can do you, don't, don't, it don't, no matter who the fuck they are, no matter who they are, don't just let a person keep fucking playing with you because they're going to do that shit. They're going to do that shit in the worst way. 
they gonna show your ass the worst way if you keep fucking out that shit. And I'm, I'm tired of being Miss Nice Ayana, Miss Nice Ayana. It's time for me to be hardcore with the people that's hardcore with me. I still got a heart though for people, but when you done fucked over me too many times, I don't look at you the same way. This girl ain't even welcome in my fucking house because I can't even have my fucking phone out and my keys out. Like, fuck them. <sighs> It's weird. It's very much weird. It's weird. And there's so much shit that went on that I really ain't even speak on, for real. I'm, I'm really still, you know, keeping it, because this girl can really be in prison right now. After what that happened, for real. But I'm going to keep it for the blocks and blocks for the blocks. And I'm going to keep it for the blocks and blocks and blocks. I ain't going to put it out like that, because baby, if I did, the feds are watching, the feds are watching, the feds are watching. But I'm going to keep it for the blocker that's just how I am. But I'm going to tell y'all what I want y'all to hear. But I ain't going to tell y'all too much because she know what she did. And I know that shit in her up. That shit is in her up. She know exactly what she did. And I know it's in her up. Anyways. I need my nails did. <laughs> oh, he scared the fuck out of me. Anyways, y'all, let me go do my fucking hair because I've been having some rough fucking days. More of the story, y'all be around people that's making you happy. If you around somebody that's bringing you peace, keep them. If you around somebody that's not getting the fuck up out the spot, you hear me? For real. If a person's not bringing you peace, it's not good for your mind and your mental. And I got a child, so I try to keep that very, 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 very good. Because like I told y'all, I wasn't even thinking about my goddamn child, all this shit was going on. You know, my mental and, I, and my peace is very important. And not only for me, but my kid is very, very, very important. So I try to stay on track and stuff like that. And I was out to help her. Like That's why I, every video, I'm like, okay, it's twins. We back. We gonna split the money every month. You know what I'm saying? And the person can't never, ever say I didn't, you know, I was on some stingy, money-hungry shit. Nobody can say that about me because I was not. I was going to, you know, it's just the fact of she do little slimy shit. So I can't put you in a YouTube account and you trying to take everything. Like, no. So, um, I don't know. I got to thank you if I even want to still help her because bitches don't want to see you up. So, and then on top of that, like. I don't want to fucking help her out and the nigga take everything from her. You feel me? So, I don't know. If a nigga not that's trying to help you and all he trying to do is take from you, like, I don't know. 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 So, I'm not, I'm not down talking about a relationship. It's just what I'm seeing right now. And I just pray for it. I'm not down. I don't, I don't want to down it. I don't want to say it's going to get better. I don't want to say it's not. So, you know what I'm saying? All I can do is goddamn pray for them. You know, I ain't never on no hate in that shit. You feel me? It just is what it is. But, you know, even when a person relationship going bad, you know, you know, wish bad for them. I wish all positive for them. I, I hope, you know, they get on that shit and, and they do better. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I want to see. I'm tired of all this toxic ass shit with them and shit like that. You know? But a relationship is what it, what you make it. So, I don't know. Just praying for the better. But you know what I'm saying? Most of the shit she do that be slimy is because of him. So, yeah. I feel like she was just, you know, focused on herself. Shit like this won't even be happening. You know what I'm saying? But, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just goddamn keep my goddamn peace with me and my daughter. Cause I'm just glad I ever went here that night and I'm running behind her drunk and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just glad my daughter went here. Cause that would have been some fucking crazy shit. But yeah, y'all, that was just, that was just a miserable, a miserable ass moment of my life. Like if a person can make you feel like that, like y'all, I felt fucking miserable. Like, you know how, how you get fired from your job and your bills due tomorrow? That I feel like they fire you from your job and your bill due next week type shit. Yes, that's how I felt like you finna lose everything. Like, 
focus. And you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad thing to lose everything. It's really not because sometimes you can lose all you got and then you get that shit back 10 times better. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a bad thing. I always look at shit in a good way because that's what you're supposed to. You're supposed to smile, be happy every day, and, you know, make good, good shit out of bad shit. So... Even when that shit was going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm already knowing this shit finna go down. Like, bitch, I'm finna lose everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what she was gonna do intentionally. I don't know if she was gonna really take me out, but I texted her and I was like, damn, so you was trying to take me out? Cause I showed her that I got back in my um, account information. I said, thanks for that. And I texted her and she was like, um, I, um, to my, I better get my cut or some shit like that. All I know is I better get my cut or some shit like that. <clears throat> And I was like, damn, so you tried to take me out? And she said yes with a laugh emoji, laughing about the situation. So you feel me? When a person be keep showing you, you got to show a motherfucker back. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, the whole situation fucked up. I don't care. It is what it is. Have your own opinions. I know it's going to be fucking comments out the ass. And I'm going to read them and I'm going to egg them on. But yeah, if we ain't together, this is why. Because she keep doing crazy ass, mental ass, fucked up ass shit to me. And I'm not going to keep allowing it. I'm not. Because one, it's, it's going to be that one time she do some shit and I'm, I'm going to be fucked up for real. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be that one damn time I ain't going to be able to get out of this situation. So, yeah. Don't be like, y'all need to go live. I know a lot of people going to be upset. Like, damn, no, no. you know, why oh, y'all ain't going live? Da, 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 da. This is why. Sorry, y'all. Maybe y'all can watch us separately. I'm going to make me a new TikTok, and I'm going to leave everything in the description. I'm going to make me a new Instagram. Because I can't get in my shit for some reason. But I'm going to make new stuff, my, my um, new accounts and stuff. And I'm going to leave it in the description. Y'all can watch us separately or whatever. And y'all... All our journey and we hoping for the best both ways no down talking no you know even though it's a bad situation but we're gonna make everything good out of it and whatever 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 keep this shit positive and you know what i'm saying it's what it is but i'm finna go eat y'all because damn i ain't even cool shit today I haven't even had the appetite and it's so crazy y'all because my fucking left eye keep twitching so it's like <sighs> Like, this shit's been t twitching for two days now, literally. My love, ever since that shit happened, my love, I've been twitching for two fucking days. But I'm finna end this video off. I'm by myself, so I'm finna just go ahead and clean my house up and do my damn school. Bye, y'all. Love y'all so much. Fuck the squeeze and fuck the rest. I don't know what I be saying, y'all. I just be trying to say something. <laughs> I said, fuck the stress and fuck the red. Hell no. Bye, y'all. Let me end this fucking video. I'm not the hell I'm talking about at this point. I'm just fucking talking. But it's like I done got back to the fucking point where I just did not want to go back to. I fucking hate here. But I love y'all. Bye.